Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. My name is Lenore and today we'll be doing a tea leaf reading video for you. Um, I just started doing these. I've got one other video on the channel. Um, I had some encouraging feedback so I thought maybe I'd try again and you know just uh, keep plugging away at it and seeing if I can uh, get get better get better at making these videos um, if you do enjoy what you've seen uh, please like subscribe and oh and comment <laughs> um, and you can also share that would be awesome as well uh, yeah so anyways we are going to start here I like to have the teacup aligned to the right that's just my personal preference and we do one, two, three turns counterclockwise towards the heart. Okay. Wow, this one. There's a lot of tea leaves in here on this one. Um, let's see. We're going to see if I can get it up in there. See if you guys can see it clearly. We're just going to kind of look at it and rotate. Oh, this one. That's kind of neat. I kind of want to see like a little face here. Uh, I have this little chopstick. I was hoping it would help me be able to point a little better. But uh, his eyes and the nose and the mouth. Okay, well, I'm going to start, let's see, sorry guys, just trying to find the right position. Um, I'm going to start right here, okay, and um, what I'm seeing is kind of a little man here, little face and arms, some legs. It looks like he's, what is he doing? Is he maybe, <laughs> it looks like he's out in the wind and leaves are just blowing all around him. Um, you know, the, the image that comes to mind for me is um, almost kind of like, like a wild man kind of, even like a, like a pan, you know, like a, uh, like a goat man or um, some kind of, not totally, not totally an animal, but maybe a person that kind of has the qualities of an animal. And I don't mean like, I don't, maybe the energy, like, uh, you know, just real primal, real, um, uh, maybe scruffy, maybe, um, maybe just like really stripped down, uh, honest. Yeah, that's, that's the word that comes to mind. It's like just very honest, almost to a fault, maybe, um, not really trapped by the, um, you know, the confines of like our social mores and um, good, polite behavior, um, saying the things that we're supposed to say, but maybe somebody that just really says it like they feel it, like they think it, you know, um, and... Yeah, here, see, and then these little pieces, it feels like maybe there's, you know, an amount of chaos, um, things coming, going, um, swirling around, um, maybe a lot of, like, 
you know, just um, chaotic emotions, uh, just the feeling of being, what am I trying to say? Just the feeling of being so caught up in these very primal love, lust, um, procreative um you know, just impulses, desires, emotions, um, but also, you know, falling into this um, mode of protecting self through almost crude, um, like crude communication. And maybe it feels like, okay, I'm just speaking my truth, you know, like, I'm just um, saying it how it is. This is this is me, and you know I'm just gonna put it out there. But um, it seems like maybe almost like it's being perceived as uh, aggressive, and um, uh, I, I won't say negative, but just like uh, just a lot. You know what I mean? Sometimes people come at us, and it just feels like a lot. Um, they overcompensate, maybe, maybe that's not the word, but maybe they just, um, my goodness, what am I trying to say? <laughs> you know, sometimes just, uh, just come at us, you know, um, with, with information, with, uh, energy that is just not... You know, it's not calm, it's not collected, it's just all over the place. But it's obvious that it's like coming from a place of trying to protect themselves. You know what I mean? Posturing, I guess, would be a good way to say that. Or, you know, just um, falling into that like lizard animal brain place where um, it's frenzied and um, unrefined and you know, it, and it does come across as kind of sometimes aggressive, you know, or, or just, um, unkind. Yeah. So that's, <laughs> that's what this image makes me think of. Okay. And these are the, this is the stream of consciousness that I'm getting from this part of the cup right here. Right. So then we're going to turn and just kind of Kind of look at what else do we have here it looks like it's just kind of you know going out into space into the into the aether <laughs> um just putting that energy out into your environments maybe it's you maybe this is you that's doing these things maybe it's somebody that's in your life right now that's making you feel uncomfortable um, maybe it's an interaction you had with somebody that's like a work person or like a friend or an acquaintance or whatever. And maybe they just came on too strong and too aggressively and it just doesn't feel good, you know, and it's just kind of like these little pieces just kind of lingering around, you know, and it's just kind of, mm, Sometimes I can feel icky, but but also sometimes we are the people that are kind of putting that energy out there. And, um, you know, once we get through that, we realize like, hey, maybe I, uh, you know, maybe I was kind of coming into these situations and making people feel not, you know, maybe not uncomfortable, but just... Um, you know, it wasn't a positive experience for them, right? Okay. I know, I know, I am, I do that sometimes, especially when I'm tired and cranky and I get, you know, all doom and gloom and sometimes I just, you know, I know that I just, it's almost like seeking a negative attention kind of thing, but also, um, you know, just not being mindful of how I am affecting the people that I love around me or just people that are in, you know, my passing life, you know, and 
um, we're, we can, we are all guilty of that sometimes, right? But we can, but, but the good news is we can turn it around. We can redeem ourselves. We can get it together. <laughs> okay. I've turned this around. I haven't said anything about it. Um, well, let's, this right here, exactly what I feel like I'm saying, arms up in the air, right? This is like the little head. These are the arms. The body is just reaching for the sky, right? Letting it go. Um, maybe uh, in, a, in a posture of praise or um, jumping for joy. Just being released of those, those negative kind of feelings. Um, be there, is it our own, maybe? Maybe this, maybe it's somebody else like we were talking about and maybe they just are gone or maybe they've um, gotten over their, you know, their mood. Maybe we've set good boundaries or stuck up for ourselves and said, hey, that doesn't make me feel good. I don't like that. You know, you don't talk to me that way or you don't, um, you know, you don't come at me that way. And um, there's a lot of freedom in um, f taking up for yourself in that way, right? And not being, you know, you don't have to always be, uh, aggressive yourself. Me, aggression with aggression. Sometimes, you know, we have to, but, um, sometimes just really setting those boundaries. And if that person decides to just, um, you know, get angry and, and leave the situation, fine, you know, <laughs> whatever. But, um, if, if it helps to remedy, um, those kinds of interactions and you can go forward in a more positive way, great, you know, and, um, and maybe that's just with ourselves too. Maybe there's sometimes we just need to confront ourselves and realize, Hey, there are reasons for this kind of joy, this kind of, um, um, you know, uh, coming to, a place of clarity, cleansing, releasing that terrible uh, stress we carry around in our bodies. It just pours out of us, you know, and sometimes we don't even realize it. I tell, I tell my husband constantly, <laughs> um, sometimes I get into the shower and my body just says, ah, you know, um, and it's because I've been carrying around stress, um, the stress of family life and taking care of a toddler and, you know, just all the things that I do all day, the chores and, um, you know, my, all my, um, responsibilities, you know, and just taking in the energies around me. Uh, it can, it really builds up in your body and sometimes you just don't know it, <laughs> you know, and, uh, you get, you get to a place where some of that stuff is lifted and you're just in that, in that position of, oh my goodness, I feel so much better. Right. So let's see. Let me look and see if I can kind of turn this. Where did we see that face from the from the first part of the video? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to find him again. I kind of forgot. Where was that guy or girl or somebody? <laughs> I don't know here. It's kind of getting dry. We're getting some of our uh, tea leaves are starting to jump around on me. Yeah. Well, why don't we, this last video, I forgot to kind of look at this, um, look at the plate. And let's see if maybe we can do that this time. Let me just see if I get it in from, I'm not great at, um, <laughs> getting everything right in frame. I'm, I'm working on it, but sometimes it drifts off like this, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah. So, you know, it just, I think more, more of before, just kind of this, kind of this feeling for me that this week, 
you know, these past few days. Maybe it's happened. Maybe it's going to happen. Um, we're just carrying some um, stress with us. You know, somebody in our lives, maybe us, maybe somebody else we're going to encounter. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be great. It's not going to be the worst thing in the world either. You know, just somebody that maybe puts us off just just enough, you know, that makes you question, uh, do I really ever want to, <laughs> do I want to deal with this person again, right? So um, that path to our own joy uh, is, you know, is going to be um, kind of how we decide to deal with that. Um, you know, let's not get caught up in it. I'm going to really try not to. You know, and if it's myself that's, that's uh, behaving this way, I'm going to really try to get it under control and, um, you know, forgive myself and um, just allow for that space for things to get better. Um, and if it's somebody else, I'm going to allow the space for them to meet my boundaries and decide where they're going to go for it. Either way, it's going to bring me joy to um, activate, you know, these tools that I personally have learned. And I really hope that, you know, if you resonate with this situation that we're talking about, I hope that you're able to do the same thing. And, um, you know, it's going to make you feel so much better, I think. Okay, well, um, I think that's all I have for you today. Uh, I am so thankful for you and um, appreciate your time. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for the comments that I received. I was so excited about that um, on, the, on the last video. And so if you have any more comments for this one, um, please, you know, let me know what you're thinking about. Let me know what you want to hear about. Let me know, um, do you have any experience with like uh, tea leaf reading? Do you, um, are you interested in it? You know, hey, what kind of tea do you like to drink? <laughs> um, that I would love to hear about that too. I'm always looking for new ones. So thank you so much. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, please like, comment, or subscribe or all three and um, go ahead and share the video if you'd like uh, and thank you for joining us on Dove and Serpent Tarot. Again this is Lenore and have a wonderful day. Thanks.